So we now place ourselves in the loving presence of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Lord, come and be with us with your spirit. Let me be inspired. We may have the wisdom and the love that you have for us as we celebrate the 16th Sunday and read the gospel, the readings of the day. With your love and inspiration, hasten to be with us and be our help and our shield. All this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory, Glory to, to you, O Lord. Lord. Lord Jesus. The apostles gathered together with Jesus and reported all they had done and taught. He said to them, come away by yourselves to a deserted place and rest a while. People were coming and going in great uh, numbers. And they had no opportunity even to eat. So they went up in the boat by themselves to a deserted place. People saw them living and many came to know about it. They hastened there on foot from all the towns and arrived at the place before them. When he disembarked and saw the vast crowd, his heart was moved with pity for them, for they were like sheep without a shepherd, and began to teach them many things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. So the Lord be with you and good evening. Good and good evening, morning. Father. Good evening, good evening, good morning. Good evening, Father. Good morning. Good evening. If we summarize the readings of the day and we include other readings, we can have the take off, although the last part of the gospel would speak it wonderfully. And the response of some today would speak as it would say, The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. It's about Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd. But the most important thing would be, I know that we know the Psalm 23, memorize, but the question would be, did we encounter the shepherd of the Psalm? So the most beautiful thing is to encounter the shepherd of the Psalm. And that's where people today would have, they were like sheep without a shepherd and he began to teach them many things. Jesus here is, is portrayed as a good shepherd. Jesus is portrayed as a shepherd who would take good care of his people. His heart was moved with pity for them. If you realize, this is the Marcan Pericope of the Rogate Pericope, seen in Matthew as well as St. Luke. And therefore, for me, this is even our affirmation of who we are as belonging to the Rogate Global Warrior Group. We are called as well to become good shepherds like the Lord Jesus. And so what happens and what did Jesus do as a good shepherd? First, he was moved with compassion. His heart was filled with compassion to every kind of people without distinguishing them. To anyone who is in need, the heartbroken, the sick, those who have anxieties, those who have problems, those who have difficulties, even perhaps people who have the best in life, they come to Jesus but he always looked at them with compassion. And in our way, he looked at us with compassion as well because he loved us so much. So his heart was moved with pity. His heart was moved with compassion. And with that compassion that led him to teach the people many things. But perhaps the most wonderful teaching that he had done is none other than he wanted to tell us, to tell these people how the Father has loved them. And being loved by the Father, he wanted them to be reconciled to the Father, as the second reading would put it today. He removed every kind of barrier and putting us closer to the Father. And that's the Good Shepherd. Secondly, the Good Shepherd invites us to rest for a while. The day is Sunday. This is the rest day. Although in times we have as well many works by virtue of our mission. But resting in order to rediscover and hear the voice of the Lord. Resting for a while in order to be recharged. Resting for a while to see and to reflect on how we have done our mission and to live it once more faithfully as we go to the next week or to the new week that the Lord is giving us. 
resting, it's not becoming passive, but rather continuously involving ourselves with the different mission of the Lord, continuously reflecting and discerning so that at the end of the day, we can only do things faithfully according to the plan of God. And so he wanted us to rest for a while, as he said, come away by yourselves to a deserted place and rest a while. Perhaps this is also our inv an invitation to each and every one of us, as I invited the apostles. For many ways, we are too busy. For many ways, we have run here and there. Dagan dito, dagan doon, no? sa didi. <laughs> and ultimately, he wanted us to have some moments. And this rest would be our moment of prayer. That's why we are stopping at this moment even to reflect, to hear him, because hearing him would mean for us to be attuned with the voice of the real shepherd. If you take at the first reading of the day, it was a stern warning for leaders who do not do their share because he said, I will remove them and give them a new shepherd, referring to Jesus is our Lord. Jesus wanted us to exercise our being good shepherd, our leadership for the kingdom of God. And the challenge would be for us to become good shepherd in our respective sphere. For example, for me, a good shepherd priest, a good shepherd mother for each one of you, a good shepherd father, a good shepherd doctor, a good shepherd lawyer, a good shepherd in the fields where you are in. But beyond the work, he wanted to tell us in a very particular way. Perhaps he wanted to say, a good shepherd Danny, a good shepherd Elmer, a good shepherd MJ, a good shepherd Belinda, a good shepherd Manny, and everyone. He wanted us to be as such because we are now the new good shepherds of the modern time. So let us attune ourselves and listen to Jesus. Let us profess that he is our good shepherd because when he is our good shepherd encountering him, we will never be lacking. We will never be wanting, but we have everything because we have Jesus, our Lord. Amen. 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 Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. we declare that you are our good shepherd. We declare, we declare, that, declare that, 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 that you are our good shepherd. Our leader. Our, our leader. leader. <clears throat> Someone is leading us to the real way. Someone who is leading us to the real way. Thank you for the compassion that you have for us. Thank, Thank you, you for, for the, the compassion you have for us. us. May we become as well compassionate to others. And May we become also become compassionate, compassionate to others. To compassionate Thank to you others. for inviting us to rest for a while. Thank, Thank you, you for inviting us, us to rest for a while. a while. In the deserted place of our room. In, in the deserted place of our workplace. Of our workplace. Of our cars. Of our, our, cars, our cars. Of our travels. Of our travels, travels, or anywhere and everywhere, or anywhere, anywhere, everywhere, everywhere, because you are there, because, because, because you, are you are there, there. who wanted to talk to us, who wanted, who wanted to, to talk to us, and to be with us as well, to, and, and to, to be, be with, with us as well. As well, and that you will give <laughs> us a good rest, and that you and will, that you will give, give us a good rest. rest. Thank you for being a good shepherd to us. Thank you for, Thank being, you for being, being a good shepherd, shepherd to us. And we are never lacking of anything. And we are and never, we are never, never lacking, lacking of everything. Because you are the fullness of our life. Because, because you are the fullness of our, of our life. Our life. Teach me, O oh Lord. Teach, teach me, O oh Lord. Lord. Not only to memorize. Not only, Not only, only to, to memorize. memorize and recite Psalm 23. And recite Psalm 23. But to encounter you, the Good Shepherd. But to encounter, but to encounter you, the Good Shepherd. Of the Psalm. Of the Psalm. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Holy Mary, Mother of God, God, of God pray, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Saint Michael, the Archangel, pray, pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Healer, 
Pray, Pray for, us. for us, Saint Gabriel. Pray, Pray for us, San Agustin. Pray, Pray for us, Saint Anthony of Padua. Pray, Pray for us, Saint Hannibal Maria di Francia. Pray, Pray for us, us. Send, O Lord. Holy, Holy Apostles, Holy Apostles, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the and the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Good evening, good shepherds. Good evening, <laughs> Good evening, Father. Good evening, Father. Good evening, Father. Good evening, Father. Welcome. The, the best shepherd. Wow. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you, Father. Wow. Thank you, <laughs> Atita Bell, sabi daw, rest for a while. <laughs> After the tour, rest for a while. <laughs> Natamaan ako, Father. <laughs> Sige lang, that's part of the mission pa rin. You have listened to his call. That's why you are in a mission. <laughs> yes. Amen, Amen yes. Pastor. After that, after that, you take a rest din. You guys should deserve yes, to have a rest. <laughs> Yes. Wow, so nice. <laughs> so in the holy good. father of one priest, waste Apo. your time thou with the Lord. Waste yes. your time with the Lord. Oh, that's the most beautiful wasting. So nice. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Very productive kind of wasting. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> because for, when you waste your time soul. with the Lord, nothing is wasted. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I was so touched by that statement. Waste your time with the Lord. Nice, no? Yeah, very nice. nice. Yeah. From now on, I'm going to waste all my time. <laughs> <laughs> waste all with my time. Lord. Waste your time with the Lord. <laughs> yes, very good. Yay, Gale. Nice. <laughs> I also uh, asked uh, Tita Belinda, yesterday she was in the beach, in their beach house. I asked uh -huh. her to, to do something for the warriors. So I uh -huh. wasted her, time, her vacation. <laughs> for the Lord, all, Tito Elmer. All for, for the, the Lord, Lord. Pa All for the Lord. <laughs> very true. Wow, That's very, very good. Very nice. Uh, so our, our faith is getting stronger. Yes, that's the most yeah. important. Yes. So encounter the Good Shepherd and waste your time with the Good Shepherd. Amen. And when you waste Amen. your time with a good shepherd, everybody yeah. becomes a mission to you. Each yeah, one yes. is a mission. Amen. And siguro yung, Amen. ang particular thing, find whatever be your best mission at the moment. What would be the yes. call of that good shepherd as a mission for you? Yes, we have to discern, we have oh. to listen. We have to rest and listen <laughs> yeah. to the voice. Yes, to the voice us. and find the yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. Oh, just just Amen. Ano lang siguro, in terms of liturgical parlance, so before with the renewal of the liturgy of the church, so they wanted that each country would inculturate as well, even the mass. So the shepherd is known only in Middle East as well as in Israel with the sheep. So sabi nila, in the Philippines, we don't have so much lamb or sheep. So we have only pigs or carabao. So can we change the lamb into a pig? Pero, no, they started to say, this is the pig of God. Sabi niya, it doesn't chime. <laughs> so oh, this is the carabao of God. So it doesn't chime. Kasi di ba, pag shepherd, carnero. So pag ano ka, pag sa, if you are with doing with the carabao, so you are? The carabao Baka, of the bakero, no? Bakero. Bakero. So, you are the good bakero. So, <laughs> Wag naman ang pig. <laughs> so, what about the goat? Wala the goat? So, so you are the wala. goat of God. <laughs> Parang wala siya eh. So, sabi nila, it doesn't chime. It doesn't chime. So, in the angayan. So, we have to go back to the shepherd because shepherd. the shepherd resembles everything. Compassion, yeah. looking for, so on and so forth. Yes. Uh, uh, it's so funny. Uh, kasi di ba kung karabaw, hanuton pa, no? So, Pahay magapanghanon. Mag Get abuse. Mag <laughs> abuse ang karabaw. You know? so, so the good shepherd is not like that. So sabi niya, it doesn't yeah. chime. So we have to follow what's the indication. So with Very Jesus lovely. is the good shepherd. Yes. Oh, yeah. There's no comparison. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, 
Yes. So take good care. Enjoy your Sunday. Thank, Thank you very care. much, Thank Father. Thank you, Father. Bye-bye. Love you. Bye-bye. 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 Take care. We welcome. The gospel says, come away by yourselves to a deserted place and rest a while. That is in Mark 6, verse 31. This is an invitation we may need to hear far more than we realize. It's an invitation that many hard to find, hard to accept from Jesus. But it is, but it, take it as a direct invitation offered to you from our Lord. He, hear him say this to you. You, my child, please do come away by yourself to a deserted place and rest for a while. There is something very healing and helpful that comes from silence and moments of solitude. There is something about silence and solitude that enables us to get refocused. So often in life, we are overwhelmed overwhelmed by busyness. Busyness is often a way for the evil one to wear us down and get us off track. It keeps us from the gentle, clear and refreshing voice of God. So how it is that, how is it that God is inviting you to come away by yourself and rest? At the heart of this invitation is a longing in Jesus' heart that we rest from those burdens which weigh us down unnecessarily. It's true that there are many good things God calls us to do that can exhaust us. But this holy exhaustion is not a bad thing. In fact, being exhausted by the will of God actually deepens our faith and fills us with joy. And that joy lightens our burden. The main reason for our need to come away and rest is that there are many things in life that are not part of God's will. These are burdens we impose upon ourselves unnecessarily. These burdens, more than anything else, are what we need to rest from. Coming away alone with Jesus is a way of getting refocused and clearing out the clutter of life. It's a way of escaping from our impulses and habits that draw us away from the joyful will of God. So think about this invitation. Think about it practically. Can you find at least 10 minutes today to go find silence who has to rest in the arms of Jesus? This invitation from Jesus to come and to rest with and in him. Commit yourself to doing just that. Make the choice today to find time to be alone. From that time of solitude, seek the still, small and silent voice of God. Let the quiet and peace of God's presence be clarity and focus to your busy life. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Tito Mani. Thank you. Um, now we have uh, Tita, Tita Amy. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so this is my reflection for the Gospel of Mark. So after an insanely busy and draining period of teaching, um, so Jesus was teaching, exercising, and healing. And after Jesus and his disciples had given, had given off themselves over and over again, day after day, Jesus tells his disciples, come away to a deserted place all by yourselves and rest a while. So there are four different parts to this statement, which means something on their own. And the first word is come away. 
Second is to a deserted place. Third, all by yourself. And the last is rest a while. So do we need to hear these words today? I think we need to slow down and savor them. And hear the permission and the inherent command to rest. We need to rest. It will be of no surprise to anyone that our world is a crazy, hectic place. With all the miracles of modern technology, we are only a cell phones ding away from whoever might think they need something or everyone's dings of need. And we make business a badge of honor. How is it going anyway? Pretty crazy, pretty busy, so we answer. And that answer has an implicit message. I'm worthwhile because I'm busy. No, stop it right now. We have worth, but it doesn't come from our 70 hour work weeks or our month straight with no day off. Those things aren't a badge of honor. They're marks of an in imbalanced life imbalanced life and imbalanced ministry or an, an arid spiritual life. So come away. It's not just going away, but it's coming away with Jesus. Jesus isn't an angry boss who works us from sunrise to sunset. Jesus is the one whose yoke is easy. His burden is light and he is the embodiment of refreshment in the presence of God. We need to come away with Jesus. Number two, to a deserted place. We need, a, we need time alone. We need to go to where there is nothing. A place deserted, perhaps desolate. So I'm gonna add, you're gonna go to, our, to the place where there is no Wi-Fi and 3G, email and voicemail. Deserted by Facebook and Twitter. We need to recharge our batteries with Jesus and no one else. We have a spiritual needs to get out on the trenches and be alone. All by yourself, that's number three. And yes, in case you miss it in the last phrase, Jesus really means it, all by yourself. Number four, and rest a while. This isn't laziness. It's not a perpetual state, it's temporary. It's for a while, but for that while, it's about rest. If we don't rest, we won't be able to take care of others. If we don't slow down, we will be of no use to anyone, especially God. So now that we are almost the, in the end of summer, follow Jesus to a deserted place all by yourself and rest. For a day here and there, put down, put down the iPhone, don't update your status, Set the away message on your voicemail and email and don't even think of checking on it. For in doing so, you will be embracing the spiritual practice of rest. And while the rest of the world may think you're a little crazy, you'll be crazy in all the right ways. Amen. 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 Thank, you very, thank you very much, Tita Ami. Um... As I was uh, listening to some homilies of of uh, of um, you know of Sunday Mass, I have here some points that really touched my attention. So um, for the for for some twenty three, the Lord is my shepherd, and I uh, there is nothing more I I want. So have we encountered our own shepherd in our life? That struck my mind. Have you encountered the Lamb of God who gave his life so that we will live? Nothing I shall want because the Lord is more than enough for us. If we have the Lord in us, when, when, the Lord, when Jesus becomes a good shepherd, a good shepherd has pity and compassion for us. So eventually we are forgiven because the, uh, his heart is full of mercy. 
um, if if uh, the heart is full of compassion, eventually love follows, mercy follows, forgiveness follows. Jesus said, I have reconciled you with the Father. And Jesus said, all barriers are broken. I have reconciled you with the Father. For Jesus is more than enough if he, if he is our shepherd. So in the midst of our anxiety, call Jesus the good, the good shepherd. In the midst of poor health, call Jesus the good shepherd. In the midst of all our problems, of everyday problems, everything, call Jesus the good shepherd. And our conclusion is, let us also be good shepherds to others. Amen. 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 Tito Elmer. Please go ahead, Tito Elmer. Lord Jesus. I want to come away and rest for a while. Grant me the grace to seek you and listen to all that you try to teach me. In encountering Jesus, our first point of discussion will be gathering with Jesus. Imagine the excitement of the disciples returning from the mini mission, having gone out to teach Jesus' message. They were excited to share their stories of the people they met, their challenges, and how they had influenced those who listen. But they were also tired, tired from intense activity and look forward to just being with Jesus. What a consolation to hear from Jesus. And Jesus said, come away by yourselves to a deserted place and rest a while. With Jesus and in Jesus, we find the solitude of intimacy that our hearts long after a busy activities, we can hear his invitation to come away with him. If, even if it is in the quiet interior of our hearts, there we can share with him all we have been experiencing. The next point of our meditation will be bringing others to Jesus, which is our mission. You know, the, the gospel talks about twice the disciples tried to have Jesus all to themselves, but failed. The very people they had probably thought were over were flocking to him and this is a good sign and fruit of the efficacy of the disciples teaching our efforts hopefully bringing others bringing others to jesus as well as move the hearts of heart of Jesus to act on their behalf. As disciples of Christ and the disciples of the Rugati family, the late disciples, we are merely intercessors, stoking people's flames of curiosity or desire to come and see Jesus 
Jesus is ready with our, an open heart to receive them as more and more arrive. Jesus' heart is moved with pity rather than complain about the inconvenience. He is faithful to his mission and promptly meets their needs. Jesus, the Lord is my shepherd, is my second, is my third point. There is a dynamic place that takes place with the shepherd and his fluff, a way of being one another that creates a sense of order and well being. The sheep graze in the pasture, protected from the wolves. They know the shepherd's voice and thus follow him where he leads. Likewise, the shepherd looks upon his sheep, aware of their needs for his guidance and protection for their well-being. Jesus is my shepherd. He knows the deepest desire, the deepest needs. He desires to protect and care for us. And through his voice and inspiration and, not, and huggings of the heart, he teaches us the way to remain in the pasture. Lord Jesus, shepherd of my soul, teach me your way, guide me from my heart and form my heart to be your disciple. I desire to find my rest with you, to share my day with you and to receive your care and protection and guidance. <laughs> Lord, today, by your grace, I will count my blessings for the ways in which you care for me, and I will listen to how you try to guide me. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Dito Elmer. Thank you. Sunday, July 8th. From Mark chapter 6, verses 30 to 34. The first pointer. This gospel passage applies as much to us today as during Jesus' time. We lead very busy lives. We hardly have time for ourselves. So did Jesus, but he always set aside time to commune with God in solitude. Second pointer, we need to do the same if you are to effectively minister to others and if we are not to be burnt out. Draw our source of strength and energy from God himself. When we are drained, only God can refill us. The third pointer, pray from your heart. Good shepherd, call us by name to stay close to. The three pointers, amen. 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 Thank you very much. You're welcome. The Lord is with you. Blessed are you among them. Blessed is the fruit of the
Mother Mary, in spirit, we behold how Jesus leads you to the throne of glory in heaven, next to his own. As you tasted the bitterness of pain and sorrow with him on earth, you have not enjoyed the sweetness of eternal bliss with him in heaven. You have won, you have worn the crown of thorns with Jesus. You will now wear the crown of gold and precious stones, even at that. Pray for us, O Holy Mother, that we be made worthy of the promise of Christ. Let us pray. Lord, the only begotten Son by His blood and death and resurrection, obtain for us the reward of eternal salvation. Granted, we beg of you that meditating upon your holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may both imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise, what they promise. through Christ, our, through Christ Lord. our Lord. Amen. 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 Thank you very much. That ends our session for today. Okay. May God bless us all. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Amen. 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 Amen.